So what was the turning point for you when when considering becoming Muslim? So for me, it just really was that I just felt like I had learnt so much information, like I was saying. Applying makeup to all scholars of Islam is prohibited to be looked at by non-mahram men. She must not adorn herself. She must not put uh, uh, foundations or makeup or uh, uh, eyeliners or mascara or maskhara, we call it in Arabic. So, uh, touche. So, this is not permissible. When it starts to get out of control, like wearing red lipstick, red lipstick is a, uh, I'm sorry, but that's sending out a whole different message saying, look at me and I am to be, you know, the object of desire. You're supposed to show your ornament to your husbands. She put the yellow and the blue and... For who? For who? So you're trying to be attractive to the strangers. Ibn Abbas explains the verse by saying, the face without makeup. The face without makeup and the hands without makeup. Your face without a makeup and your hands without a makeup. I don't know, uh, the makeup of the hands is what? Would be the, uh, uh, the nail uh, thing, the nail polish. She put the yellow and the blue and... For who? For who? So you're trying to be attractive to the strangers. Hypocrisy in Arabic is nifaq. Certainly the hypocrites are going to be in the lowest depths of the hellfire, meaning uh, some of the most severe punishment uh, is for those people. She put the yellow and the blue and... For who? Maskhara, we call it in Arabic. So, uh, touche.